Oh, hey, YouTube. We're back. We're back here at Grand Tourney. And yeah, Marky's here. It's the pleasure of watching Marky destroy people. As I said in the last video. Onion. Put onion on my pizza. Oh, I hate onions on my pizza. I think I can kill him. Um, anyway, so, this video we're also going to be explaining what the new gem system does. Um, do you want to elaborate on it a little bit before I get into the details, uh, Maddie? Um, like, what is kind just the gems in general, like what kinds there are and stuff, and then we'll elaborate into them further. Well, there's gems for like defenses, um, gems to boost your damage. And there's also gems to boost your crit, your crit block, and healing, incoming healing, and outgoing healing. So, what types? Of, also, stun resist, I think, too. So what? Ah uh, yes, yes. What? What? Now, what shapes are the? Now, what shapes can these gems come in? They can come in square, circle, triangle, and the pet gems will come in as, as a star. Okay. So now we have the mystery of what shapes and what types of gems you can get. So now we're going to be focusing on what each type does and how it affects your stats. So, okay, let's start with, let, let's start with the circle damage gems. Now, what do they do? Do we know what they do? The circle gems are usually like a, the, maybe, maybe the, like the damage gems or the critical gems. Yeah, so, now, the damage circle gems function a, function differently than you would think. Now, you would think that it applies that damage to your actual stats, but, see, it doesn't do it like that. What it does is, it applies that damage to your spells, like the base damage of your spell. Say, for example, um, I have a plus 50 circle gem for death. And uh, I use Vampire, so what's... Ma Maddie, what's the base damage on a Vampire? 350, right? Yeah, 350. Okay, so if I have a plus 50 gem, how much extra damage do I have on that Vampire? I have 50, right? So, add that in, and I get a, I believe I get a total of 400 damage base. So, that's what it does as a damage increase. That's what the circle damage gems do. They add the amount that you have onto the base damage of a spell that you use, of the attack spell that you use. Now, circle crit gems apply the crit literally just right to your stats, which that's 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 pretty much self-explanatory because you can see it in your stats as part of your actual crit. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, I also forgot the tier gems are for the health and the mana. Oh yes, we yes they add the, those also add directly to your stats. Um. Now, what other ones are there? Oh, I have my minion up. It's worthless, though. Um, but... Yeah, um... So, yeah, that's... that's now, we're gonna move on to square gems. Now, what types of square gems can we get? You can ask for... You can get the square gems, like, for blocking or for resistance. What types of resistance can we get square gems for, Maddie? Hmm? I said, what types like of... Resistance, like... 
What types of what? I said, what types of resistance can we get Square Challenge for, Maddie? Well, resistance to other spells from, the, like, Universal or certain schools. Stun, I believe, also, as I said before, stun resist, too, right? Yeah, stun, yeah, stun resist, yeah. Okay, so, again, that, now, the damage, the square resistance gems work the same way as the damage circle gems, but they work in a little bit, they work a little bit differently. So, let's go back to the, I'm about to use vampire reference, and I have a minus, I have a plus 50 circle gem. Plus 50 circle damage gem. So, Again, we added it up. It adds up to 50 extra damage, so it's a base of 400. Now, say my opponent has a number of square resist gems that bring that add up to, let's say, 200. So he now I don't I don't know if this has been done, but again, this is hypothetical. It's just an example. Um, so let's say. He, my opponent has a number of damage resi damage uh, resistance gems that equal up to a total of 200. So, that's 200 minus base damage to my spell. So, if I have plus 50 on my vampire because of my circle gem, then my base damage is 400, but because of his 200... Sorry, go ahead. Go, you can go in. Um... But because of his 200 resist from his damage resist, from his resist gems, my base damage of my spell becomes 200. Because his resist is 200, and I, because the circle gem, I have a base of 400. So, it knocks my base damage from the spell down to... Are we on the faint? I forget. I'm about to find out. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, he knocks it down to 200, so that's how the damage resistance gem, that's how the resistance gems work. Now, the rest of them, the rest of the square gems, if I'm not mistaken, are, work the rest of the way the circle gems do. They apply it directly to your stats. Yeah. So, that's that. Um, also, uh... What else? Um, there are also we cover tiers. Um, there are so. Uh, what else? Triangles. Was, there are triangles. Yes, triangle. Now, what types of triangle gems might we be able to encounter, Maddie? Well, uh, like for like extra blades or for extra accuracy. Yes, extra yes, they can give item cards. Now, my deck gives me. My deck gives me a spell called Mass Myth Prism because of a triangle gem that I have, and my Athame gives me that Malduit at Minion you see or seen in my hand there because of a triangle. Now, they, these gems can vary in what types of spells they give you, and these all these gems can drop from literally anywhere. On the in the spiral, basically, like pretty much every mob and every boss drops it at some point. They will drop it for you. Yeah. Um. So, triangle gems can give you accuracy, pip chance, um, accuracy, pip chance, and a chance to give you an item card to give you an extra spell for your deck. Um. It basically is the same thing as the same thing as all of the other gems. It just basically, those the triangles literally just apply it directly to your stats. Um, we're getting close to 10 minutes, so I will cut it off, and we will explain more on the next set of the gems in the following video, um, which would be star gems. I see you, YouTube.